Uh, hi, this is Kevin Trainer. Welcome to my briefing on uh, chapter 19 of the Pinkham book, uh, Django Unleashed. And chapter 19 is called Basic Authentication. And uh, the thing to remember about this uh, particular uh, chapter is that in our, uh, our work in the course, um, we're not going to follow this uh, chapter verbatim, uh, okay? Um, the features that uh, Pinkham uses within the chapter are uh, the same kind of features that we're going to use in our easy university tutorial, but he uses them in a kind of a complicated way. So um, when reading the chapter, I think you're going to want to pay attention to the basic uh, concepts but not get too hung up on uh, the details of his uh, his uh, tutorial example because um, again it's more complicated than the one that we're going to be doing our, our, ourselves. So let's just sort of look through this. Um, he begins by talking about the basics. Uh, oh, so. Uh, he begins by to, uh, talking about logging, and logging is certainly a great uh, feature. Um, and uh, you can add the code that he has here for logging. Unfortunately, when you add the logging code, um, you begin to get logging for a bunch of uh, a bunch of problems with uh, templates that uh, weren't, weren't a problem in the version of uh, Django that Pinkham used for the book, uh, version 1.8. But they became a problem in the beginning of, uh, as soon as they went to 1.9. So given that we're not going to change our approach to uh, templates, um, it's sort of it's sort of a problem to add in the login code here because um, what we would want to do if we were to add the login code is we would want to set the the uh, the level of logging to uh, debug, uh, which is uh, typically what you do when you're debugging. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, that flags all the problems that he has with uh, the templates. And we took the same kind of approach in Easy University um, that he took to the templates in uh, his uh, tutorial. So um, I'm not adding the logging in Easy University, and uh, I think you can safely pass it. Um, so I wanted to give you a, a warning there. Um, sessions and cookies. I think there's a good uh, discussion here about sessions and cookies and we get especially if you haven't been involved in uh, technologies that use uh, sessions uh, and or cookies this is a good uh, discussion of that um, he talks about the uh, the code that we have to add we have to make sure that we have uh, uh, Django contrib uh, uh, sessions and installed apps, uh, middleware and those kinds of things in the, the middleware uh, classes. We got all those by default when, when we set up our projects, so we don't really have to add those. Um, the uh, the one installed site that we're going to, uh, one installed app that we're going to have to have is this uh, Django Contrib Auth. Okay, again, we already got that in, so we're not going to have to add that. We're not going to be using in our uh, easy university, we're not using uh, Django Contrib sites. Um, he does a lot of uh, hands-on where you practice logging in and out um, using uh, the, uh, the Python interpreter and uh, I think you can get a, a, a good idea of uh, 
what goes on under the covers by this kind of uh, code play. All right. Um, you certainly don't have to do it, but you may want to. Um, and then uh, finally, uh, he begins to show you uh, the code that we're actually going to put into the uh, the application. And he just takes a much more um, convoluted view. He creates a new app called User, uh, and he puts the templates uh, for login and logout under User, and it's, it's just... Um, it's still a little too complex. What we do instead in our easy university is we use, a, we follow a simpler approach um, from a tutorial from Vitor Freitas uh, from a uh, site called S Simple is Better Than Complex. And he has a tutorial called How to Use Django's Built-in Login uh, System. And I think what you'll find is the approach that we take is really just a subset of, of what Pinkham does uh, without some of the confusion that comes from his uh, uh, creating a, a user app and all those uh, kinds of things. Okay, um, look through his code. Our code's going to be simpler. Okay, um, we use a login redirect URL. Okay, so we, uh, we certainly have this. Um, we don't have uh, some of this fancy stuff that he has uh, here. Okay, so um, that's it for the chapter. Uh, again, don't get too hung up on his, uh, his own tutorial because ours is going to be simpler. And um, again, the, uh, the simpler code is uh, pretty close to that uh, tutorial that I I showed you in the browser. Uh, and that's it for this uh, briefing. I'll see you for chapter 20. Bye-bye.